Today, representatives of contributors to Number One Super gathered at the fund's headquarters for the official announcement of financial results for 2017. In announcing the results, Chairman Anthony Smare acknowledged the current difficult economic situations. The difficult circumstances were remedied through a thoughtful diversification of investments coupled with good governance. This meant that despite the tough times in PNG, Number One Super realized a profit for the 2017 full year. So today, despite the challenging economic conditions, I'm pleased to announce a pro I mean, it's not as great as I would have hoped, but I think you should be happy. A uh, profit of 406 million kina. Addressing the media soon after, Chairman Smare emphasized the importance of diversifying their investments, a measure taken by the fund over the last five years. Looking forward, Number One Super says there is opportunity for further investment growth within the country with the chairman hinting at possible investment within the country's state-owned enterprises only if they pass stringent assessment, including governance measures. We've spoken to the government um, and we've told them that we're open to taking interest in the state-owned enterprises as part settlement. Um, New Guinea, PNG Ports, uh, PNG Power. PNG Power, the, the workers there are our members. They're some of our best members. Um, there's some of the members who, who make you know, tremendous contributions to this fund. So we're very open-minded about uh, looking at taking interest in SOEs, provided it fits our investment criteria and it fits our, government, our governance requirements. I think long term, we're thinking how can we actually invest in, in areas for 30 years? And that's the benefit that the super fund brings. We can be long term capital.